the American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello and welcome to the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. Now on the American Health Journal. If you work long, painful hours in front of a computer in a small cubicle, this next story should be very interesting. We spoke with Dr. Lynn Carew, a specialist in cubicle ergonomics. She tells us how to relieve the pain in your back, neck, and wrist. She has coined the term cubicle warrior, so we ask her to explain. Cubicle warrior ergonomics, it's a term that I coined because as a chiropractor, I specifically work with patients who have pain due to computer use. Over 40 million Americans currently work in cubicles, which are very small spaces, and they are subject to complaints of pain due to those small spaces. What are some of the most common symptoms patients have? Cubicle warrior ailments, um, eye strain, headaches, um, shoulder pain, elbow pain, carpal tunnel, mid-back pain, low back pain, disc issues, sciatica are the main complaints that I see in my practice. What is the list of items you recommend to your patients to keep them out of pain? I recommend most people keep themselves out of pain, specifically with men. A lot of times they'll uh, have wallets in their back pocket. Uh, very important not to keep your wallet in your back pocket if you can ideally put it on the desk. Women have heavy purses. They also wear high heels. Um, be a little bit mindful maybe going to work. You can wear tennis shoes. Um, having a purse that you can carry instead of on your shoulder. Uh, the other thing is get up and move around. Move, that's really important. A majority of complaints I see are due to disc problems. Uh, the person could be 100 pounds. All the weight of your body rests on the last two vertebrae of the spine. Get up, move around, even if it's going to the ice cooler or to the bathroom. If you have to make a phone call, stand up, make the phone call. Uh, the other thing is look around. Um, eyes get tired. Um, having a glare screen can help. Uh, look around, have your focus in another area besides just straight onto the computer screen. The other thing I recommend is, is sitting up straight. Uh, ideally, you don't want to have any kind of a chair that has armrests because it does prevent you from moving forward. If you can have a chair with no armrests, have, have some uh, form of a footstool, which actually ergonomically can help you with having less uh, pressure on your low back. There are certain products that I recommend that actually can help navigate your way through the day with less pain. The Swapper is a fantastic chair. It has a very large spring and, uh, it's per and has no arms. And it's perfect for sitting for long periods of time and having your back be cushioned. The adjustable footstool is my favorite of all. It is the, my most favorite because it allows you, no matter how tall or how short you are, to constantly have your biomechanics of your hip and your knee in proper alignment so that you can be sitting for longer periods of time and your, your back is in the right position. Dr. Lind had recommended a footrest to me, which I added to underneath my feet to help elevate that and put, put, take the pressure off my back. Um, I have an, a chair now uh, with a better back support on that. Um, not only that, just the little things that not even invo involve buying a product was just the idea of making sure that my screen was at eye level and uh, making sure that you know, my armrests were down so I didn't have my shoulders up like this. So just those little tips and stuff that she helped improve my workspace um, helped along with the treatment she was giving me. The glare screen is something that every person using computers should use. It, it helps prevent glare and eye strain, and therefore it, it, it actually affects people's ability to not get headaches and not get neck strain. The wrist laser wrist brace is an ergonomic uh, brace that anyone using a computer, whether you're right or left-handed, should wear. It properly positions your wrist when you're on the computer, and it can really, once again, help with um, reducing carpal tunnel problems. I like the balance ball chair, specifically the Guyam balance ball chair, because many of my patients already are using the Swiss balls for exercise and for stretching. It's an absolutely fantastic chair. It has no arms. You can move further up. Once again, like the Swapper, it really helps with cushioning your spine. 